Ohio. All right, we'll call the meeting to order at 10 o'clock in the morning. And the uh, first set of business is to set the 2019 tax rate. You should have the formulas in your in front of you on um, what they have, Department of Revenue has come up with, which is for 2019. What was he? Yeah, it's at the top of that sheet. Yeah. And what was? 24-12 was our yeah. previous 24 tax, rather. This 24 year. 14 is, is the 2018 rate. Right. So the recommendation is 22-46, which is a, a decrease. An enormous decrease. Yes. So, while that is um, temporarily happy news for people, mm -hmm. um, it also comes with a dark side, which is that um, in December, a year from now, um, there will be an enormous increase because the July bill is based on half of the previous year. So the July, the June July bill next year will be artificially low from what we know it would need to be. One would hope that the June bill would be half of the total year, or nearly so. It's the estimated bill, whereas the November bill is the final bill that takes the whole tax rate into account and subtracts what was paid in June. So um, people will not have paid nearly half in June, which will make the November bill much larger. So can you? Can you use a concrete example? So tax bill is five thousand. Okay, so if your if your tax bill is five thousand dollars for all of twenty eighteen, then you will um, be then your estimated bill in June the following year is so June of this year is twenty five hundred dollars. So then your bill in December, because the tax rate went down, mm -hmm. might be only fifteen hundred dollars, okay. for example. So it's not going to be the full twenty five hundred dollars. So okay. that means in twenty nineteen you've paid four thousand dollars. So just so, I'm sorry. so hold on. So so then in June of twenty twenty you're going to pay two thousand dollars instead of the twenty five hundred dollars or more that you should spend because the tax rate we can anticipate will not only get to where it was. But it's likely to go possibly even a few cents more than yeah. that the following year, and you've only paid two thousand dollars on worth. what's going to ultimately be a five thousand or fifty-five hundred dollar tax bill. So on the December one, you also get a credit for what you overpaid in July, plus the reduction of the tax bill. Which is why this tax bill is going to be sort of double happy for the same reason right. that you've paid more than half of what this total right. year is going to be. Yeah. So while it's wonderful this time around, so the the bill that's going to get sent out to now, the tomorrow, yeah. yes, is based on whatever rate we come up. Just with. this rate here. Well, this you have some flexibility with that. So uh, only to lower it, though, right? Well, um, we can talk about that. Okay. Okay. Now. So, so my suggestion to you for your consideration is that yes, normally through. Um, through the general fund, the board has the power to put money toward the tax rate. Um, you can see on this separate printout that I gave you um, what the fund balance recommended ranges are. Um, it, it gives you, they recommend that you, um, that you retain between 5 and 17 percent um, in your general fund, and so it, it gives you the amount that that that, um, that that corresponds to. And then on the very back of the multi-page printout, it tells you the same information, but also where we're at not now. So we're at 9.28 percent now, which is a healthy medium range. If you were experiencing an extraordinary, the opposite effect, like a bump up, an extraordinary bump up, you could take some of that $752,000 and use it to lower the tax rate. And so typically that's what this meeting is for, is how much of that money would you like to put against the tax rate, or do you want to take the DRA preliminary tax rate? as suggested. So um, this year, because it's extraordinarily low, you. DRA does not have the same kind of mechanism. There's no way to untake fund balance. There's like to do the opposite effect. 
so what you can do are one of two things. Um, the overlay. The overlay is the amount of money that we are projected to pay out in abatements. Um, we settled the PSNH settlement um, this year, and then there are six more abatements that have not been settled, which may either get settled in December or could uh, November or December, or it could go. Um, to BTLA next year. So we're still in mediation and that hasn't happened yet. So you can, so right now um, the overlay is set at $20,000. You can increase that amount of money and that will raise the tax rate only pennies. There, there's, you don't have, you know, great flexibility in, in how you can mitigate the circumstances. But the singular, the reason I printed this this separate one pager is because it'll tell you how much money um, it takes to offset um, to to make the tax rate go up. So what it's telling you is essentially thirty thousand dollars per ten cents. You can increase overlay that amount, like any multiple of 30,000, you know, it, it can be 15,000, 15,000, it can be whatever you want it to be, but that's how you can do the math to figure out kind of sort of where you're going to end up. The other thing you can do is under report revenue. So we filed our estimated revenues. You can under report what you think you're going to bring in for motor vehicle, or build, you know, vehicle permits and, and building permits and like that. So I'm not suggesting that you do that. Overlay is kind of a better mechanism since there is the chance that that money is going to get expended this year anyway, and it's also a faster process for them to adjust revenue, uh, adjust overlay rather than revenue. But that being said. Um, Whatever you can do to bring the tax rate up some is going to make the hit of this time next year not quite as bad for people. Because um, while I did print off something that I'm suggesting go in the tax bill, um, you're, you're still going to have people that are going to be surprised. And, and we're going to talk about this between now and the November bill next year. So hopefully people will have heard about it several times and be putting money away and be prepared for that. Um, but nonetheless, you, you have the you have some discretion here. Okay, so increasing the overlay um, will it be factual or will it be just let's do it so it lowers the up its rate or whatever? I mean, I don't want to put something in writing that is going it's not a factual number. Yeah, we, we should take the cases that are outstanding and project. But didn't we already with that number? Not exactly, no. Um, that, I, I, I didn't look at the PSNH number. To my so recollection, it was, it was like, like 19, it was yeah. around 20. So, yeah, so I put the 20 good. because it was around 20. Yeah. Um, there's kind of, there's no way to immediately know what the effect of those six abatements would be. It's going to take some time to do some math and project, but in the end, it you know you can't make it factual because they're not settled yet. It's still subject to mediation, and it may not settle, and it may go to court, and it may not even happen this year. So you know, there's no way to make it. But we know factual. they're there. You know they're there. Well, okay. So what are they? Like the they house are. Residences? They are four homes on Woods Run. Okay. One on Third Street and Hannaford. Um, so Hannaford could be a substantial adjustment. Mm -hmm. The other ones are, I mean, we're not talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars of adjustments on a single family. No, I mean, I think you're a talking about, you know, right. maybe, maybe like three to five thousand dollars. Um, but Hannaford's only the property behind it, right? It's not the building. Yeah, but they, or, or it's part of the building, but it's certainly not all of the building. It's yeah. not all of the Yeah, building. sure. But what they're saying, um, I can't remember the name of the place, did, was like really misclassifying it. Mm -hmm. Right? They, That's their claim. Yes. So the thing about it is that you, you know, 
with regard to factual or not factual, whatever is going to happen will straighten itself out in the um, 2019 audit. Mm -hmm. And then that will be part of how next year's tax rate right. is set and whatever the, ba the fund balance situation will be at that time. So last year we used a similar overlay. It was a, you know, a, around the same number. Um, and it, came, it comes out in the wash. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it all comes out in the wash because in the end, you know, whatever happens is only going to be what actually factually happens mm -hmm. through the audit. So, because it's an estimated number, it's an estimated yeah. number. Okay. But they the other thing is, so the other thing is, if you overreport the overlay, and, and so say say you raise the overlay to one hundred thousand dollars, and really it, it turned out to not be more than twenty. That'll be eighty thousand dollars in your general fund that you could use to offset next year's mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you and can again, also use some of your fund balance to offset the problem as well. Well, right, but it will increase your power to do so because it's going to increase the general fund. Mm -hmm. Again, only by pennies mm -hmm. or, or dimes, but it's hard to offset $300,000 mm -hmm. from the school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's... It, you know, to them, but yeah, it's affecting us big time. I mean, so there's a chance that the school stays at the level they're at, right? No, no, oh. no. No, they had um, they had more revenue than they needed from what the state. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. so surprise. Ad ad yeah, adequacy grant. So um, they retained some of it, um, but they returned the rest. So. You know, you can't count on it. Who knows how that, you know, how that money's yeah. going to go next year, yeah. but I would assume that it is okay. a one-off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I would suggest raising the overlay to account for some of these outstanding abatements. And again, if we raise it to like 40000 that's still only going to get us 15 cents. Not even. Because the rate is already including the twenty one six oh seven, right? You need forty five thousand or or just over forty five thousand to get to fifteen cents. So you can take if you have your phone with you, you can take that twenty nine thousand five thirty one <laughs> and and um, multiply it by one and a half if fifteen cents is your goal. Not to suggest that it is, or you can take yeah. thirty. You know, you can take forty thousand and you know figure out. Yeah, that's forty-four, four hundred. So, if we make an adjustment to the overlay, you go and put it in the portal. Do we automatically get our tax rate? Um, it takes her some. Um, it takes our advisor. Not a lot of time okay. to. She has to push a button on her end. Once we do that, um, I don't know that that would be today. I would hope it would be today. Okay. Um, There's no yeah. guarantees. Just of the they're the busy. Of well, right. It's that else. time of the year. Yes. I mean, is it really worth all of it just to put it to the I mean, um, well, so so my only comment to that is 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 think about all the people who are receiving this. You know, it, despite all the warnings, think about the people who are receiving. You know this extraordinary bill in December mm -hmm. next year, mm -hmm. and then also think about what that's going to do psychologically for their willingness to approve whatever budget for 2021. Mm -hmm. Because even though that's not necessarily much of a jump in the tax rate um, from year to year in terms of our expenditure budget or what we've you know actually brought in on re in revenue, it's going to feel like an enormous yeah. jump because of this one year. When we're sitting here next year and it's a dollar thirty versus a dollar fifteen, mm -hmm. dollar fifteen is going to right. Think about a lot next. Better. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is. However, I mean, I think it's worth it. Yeah. I think we should increase the overlay to forty four four. Yeah, I, I think that's... We need to make a motion. Okay, I'll make a motion that we increase the overlay 40 to $44,400. Seconded. All right, any further discussion?
discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you. I will um, email you when it comes in. I will get you the final tax rate document, which will be a, um, a report very much like what you're looking at. It'll just be final. No. So it's instead of twenty one six oh seven, it's forty four four hundred. Yeah. And the rate will be twenty two seventy one. I'm agreeing with your 2271. Oh, is it 2256 plus 15, right? Well, so you're starting with 2246. Oh, I'm, look, I'm looking at this number down no, at the bottom. This one. Okay. Is this wrong or is it a different number? Well, it's not the um, that's, um, that's um, got it. Yeah. What is it going to be? Um, 2261. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll go on to mailing tax bills, postage PO. Um, we were talking about outsourcing the mailing tax bills and to bring it back into the house, and I, I think it's still a topic for discussion, but I don't think we, we need to, we can't do it this time. Um, it's just too tight. So to do it, right? No. Um, it's possible, but the parameters are tight. Yeah, um, it's too tight. They have all of our supplies. We have to retrieve the supplies. Yeah. What's the benefit? Uh, well, cost? One, is, one of the well benefit is you're not paying the cost, and the other thing is that you're bringing your postage back into your uh, local t post office, which will help to keep it I thought a we very accurate. Heard one. that they sent them to Manchester anyway. So the tax bills are um, printed <coughs> in Manchester. They get an electronic file. They stuff envelopes and they put it through a postage meter, and we get a reduced postage rate. But then we pay labor to offset that. The difference is maybe a hundred dollars, you know, more money to have them send them out. Mm -hmm. um, but it does decrease the traffic, yeah. for, you know, yeah. for our uh, post office. Right. So I mean, we, it, it was always done previously by volunteers. I'm sure that we can search and have that done as well. And I think it's something that we should consider, but not for this yep, year. I agree. But talk about it in the budget for next, uh, that we're still working on. Okay. Um, so we all okay with that? Yes. By consensus? Okay. Very good. Um, water at Majin. Equipment PO. Um, so we have seen a survey of the property which changed the con changes the conversation a bit because it is it, it really does not seem to be water sewer district property at all where the problem is happening. The Legion property extends back further up Locust Street than we had additional uh, had originally thought. Um, and so we don't need Water Sewer District um, permission to do the work, so we're not held up by the date of their next meeting. So there is still a benefit to doing it this year, since the water was nearly washing out the road last year. There's the potential for that to happen this winter as well. Um, the culvert that extends into the woods to the cul um, to the catch basin that we know is impaired is quite large. Um, but then also um, Ken Shorey came in and um, told us that there are sinkholes starting to form um, on Foundry Street on the other side of like in front of the ballpark. And so very likely what has happened is that since the repair of the culvert on Pine Street, there's increased flow from that brook, in addition to winter rains, which is a relatively new thing. So, so the water going through those pipes is uh, a larger volume than it has ever been. George witnessed that through the bubbling up of the grate on Foundry in a recent heavy rainstorm. So. Um, I'm thinking that we eventually need to get engineering to tell us whether or not likely we need to replace the whole line to the river, um, the storm drain system from in the woods back there through the river. So um, I would hesitate to um, suggest that we replace that, even just that one section of pipe, until we um, really know what the full situation is. and. Um, George had said he was going to get a quote for cameraing the system so that we can see internally through the 
pipes, what's going on, and that'll help inform the conversation. But in the meantime, um, whatever we can do, this ditch work, to um, redirect the water so it doesn't wash out the road, um, yeah. would be a good idea. So financially for the 2020 budget, we should be looking at so money for that. While I am moving money around within the 19 budget, mm -hmm. I am going to um, price out potential projects that we could still do mm -hmm. so that the board can prioritize the money that's left. And one of my suggestions would be to move whatever expenses we've put into the culvert fund this year out of the culvert fund into the operating budget if we can afford to so that we can um, keep as much money in the culvert fund for um, 2020 or 21, whenever it is that we're potentially going to do this, depending mm -hmm. on what the camera shows. Yeah, how much is it? Do you know how much is in there now? Not offhand. Um, but I can get it pretty re readily. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we should. So, do you know how long it would take to get that quote, George? Do you know how long it would take to get that quote? Did you quote to get the camera? Yeah. He's, I know he's busy. I'm okay. not sure on time. But for now, we're going to do the ditch work, right? Well, that's the question for the board today. Um, he needs to rent equipment to do it because the yep. space back there is really tight. And timing is... Right. So, yeah. 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 Well, and, and so I've put in a call to the commander of the Legion. I don't know what their approval process is for giving us permission to do this on their land and mm -hmm. access it through their land. Um, so I don't... Um, they. Their regular scheduled meeting is Tuesday night. I'm hoping I can speak to the commander before then so that if that has to go to their board that they have time to um, understand the situation and discuss it at that meeting. So that's the other. Yeah, it's only to their best interest. Well, of course, because out. it is also washing out their parking lot. So. Right, right. So I don't anticipate a problem, yeah. but they may have to go through whatever process they have to go through about okay. it. All right, so you'll keep us updated on mm -hmm. that. Can you do the work even after snow falls? As long as the ground don't freeze. Okay. Because I think we're getting snow, I think, on Tuesday next week. Okay. Yeah. Not going to snow. No. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you have a PO or we'll. Do you have a I PO? I do have a PO for Okay. Uh, we should hold it up. We should probably, do, we yeah. should probably uh, yeah. uh, address it today so in case so it's, it's right. like, yes, we can do it right away and not have to worry about it. So, um, why don't you bring that up, George? And, Yeah, it wouldn't happen without. Um, 
Okay. I got a PO for Moe's signs to the lettering on the new truck, just so we can schedule that as somebody gets here. Mm -hmm. It's for four hundred and thirty-five dollars. It's also to replace the sticker on the window that was broken on the machine. On the back hole, so it's four hundred and thirty-five total for both the side window and back hole and the lettering on the window. They do window replacement? No, last we replaced the, oh. the lettering. Put the oh, there's lettering on it. Oh, oh okay. All right. So, the most signs and stuff. Really. Mm -hmm. Um, purchase order one seven 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 to most side for. Uh, letter for the new truck and a sticker on the back of window in the amount of four hundred thirty-five dollars. Second time. Okay. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All those in favor say aye. 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 Who got that sign done so quickly? The Rollins bird and the That That's was so insane. funny. I was getting ready to call them and say they, they must have they must have got a call because the sign was down and I was ready to call. Them. <laughs> oh, was it Foster's? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that did. Yeah. Oh, was it they, Foster's? They interviewed oh, me about it. The I saw it on Facebook. They interviewed me about it. Really? Just, really? I, I had nothing to do with it. I don't know how long. Oh, it, Jessica has it, to sign it. I think it's been there for years. No, I it's can't believe it. Oh, okay. A nice new sign. Oh, okay. They just screwed up on the spelling. Rawlings well, it That's my pet peeve. It was. Yeah. Happened to a fire truck. They did it on one of the highway trucks. They did the lettering on one of the trucks one time. We went away. Yeah. Well, well, the post office used to them. They were seats. Really? Rawlings first. I don't know how much you want. Well, I'm going to call them and see what they say. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
So we've already signed the contract. This is just going <clears> to <throat> replace the contract. I'm not sure that you have signed a contract. We, it we would did. replace whatever contract we I remember did discussing, but I don't think we're going to We reserved a certain amount, right? That's okay, typically that's what happens every year yeah. and what this is about, but I don't think that you've done that yet. No, you told me there was no contract on hand. Yeah. But. I remember talking about salt, but yeah. it might have been We've talked year. about it, but... Well, there was something in the folder. That's why I know there was yeah. something in the folder, but maybe that was just telling us the price. The probably the, probably the, the original. Right. Okay, okay. Right. So, does this have to be signed tonight? Yeah. Uh, today? That should be signed as it's soon as possible. Oh, okay. Guaranteed these, so she can get We back. have to reserve a certain number of tonnage, tonnage is gotcha. part of what that's about, right. which does not obligate us to buy yeah. that many times. Okay, do you want to? Yeah, I'll make a motion that we accept the contracts oh. from Morton Salt for 50. We don't have to pay for the rights, though, the right? We we'll just pay for the usage. No, okay. 5175 a ton, mm -hmm. and we're reserving 32 ton? No, you, reserve, you, you get 1,000 ton. 1,000 ton. Okay. And Jesus. we don't use nobody there. We use about 400. Typically, we're under four, this year again. Typically around 400. Okay. Yeah. Oh, second. Okay. Any further discussion? No. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. So, one signature. So we just use like rock salt, right? Yeah. It's that alternative that some towns do where they do in solution. Calcium chloride. Calcium chloride, yeah. You want a copy for you? Do you want more expensive? Yeah, yeah it's more expensive, right? Well, you have to re-equip all your trucks. You yeah, just spray. You have to redesign your trucks to have the, you know, the door. Hmm. And the size. It's less effective. The railroads, we don't have the heavy traffic yeah. that they do. You know, I mean, it's basically for manual. No one doesn't do all the streets. They do it's in the traffic areas. And that's pre treating, basically. Yeah. Um, going back to the, did everybody read the, is this what you're proposing to say? That is what I'm proposing. Um, um, this kind of a good edit of just moving a couple of words around okay. in the third sentence, moving next year, which is at the end of the sentence, to the beginning of the sentence. Next year, the tax rate will turn the year where it was. So, you know, I just wanted to bring to your attention yep. that I think we ought to put something to this effect Absolutely. in there. Uh, I know. Even just in our house, it does. we get, you know, a low bill and we get a high bill. What the hell? <laughs> I can do I can do the five thousand yeah. dollar example. I think just that's to, my, that's just to help idea. illustrate. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you need to set aside an extra eighty five dollars a month. This means you. Yeah. <laughs> do not ignore. <laughs> We're warning you. We're warning you. Alrighty. So you'll take care of that. And your suggestion is fine too. Okay. Um, all right. Any other business? All right. Uh, is it non-public? There is a non-public. You wanted non-public to talk so, to talk about something that you and I had talked oh, about. Oh yes, 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 yes. And move okay. we go into non-public. Unless you want to do, I'm sorry, community input. Oh, community input. Yeah, and that's what you're No. Okay, so we're going to go into non-public. I'll make a motion to go into non-public for personnel under RSA 91-A, colon three, Thank section you. two, letter A. Second. All right, we're well. Miles. Yes. Denise, yes. Joseph, yes, yes. Okay. 